Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, so today is gonna be a pretty light-hearted video um, just about how I knew I was having a boy before I found out I was having a boy. Um, so I think it's about three or four major points as to why I thought I was having a boy. Uh, so the first one being Tafaz was a whole family. He's got three brothers, um, predominantly males. And as you know, the male actually is the one who decides whether your child is going to be a boy or girl because it's either they give you the Y chromosome or the X chromosome and that determines it. So I feel like Tafaz's family's genes are quite strong. So I was like, yeah, it's definitely going to be a little boy. I just felt it i knew it and yeah that's one of the reasons and then the second one is the old wives tales so a lot of the old wives tales for me were quite true with regards to me having a little baby boy obviously old wives tales are just things that people have made up and yeah it's not 100 percent true because sometimes you would think you're having a boy when you're actually having a girl because each child is different however some of these tales were actually quite true for me the third one was the nub theory so i had a lot of time on my hands and i was researching quite a lot of things so i did look into um on your scan if the baby is positioned well you can definitely see whether it's a boy or girl so it's not 100 percent accurate however um for me it personally was um and what was the other thing i can't remember so maybe it is just three points so basically i'll just get straight into the old wife's tales and the um the nub theory as well and just yeah show you guys how i definitely hundred thousand percent knew <laughs> that i was having a little baby boy so I've picked out the old wives tales that were um, true for me. So basically one of them is your sleeping position. So apparently if you sleep more on your left side, you're having a boy. So um, when I started sleeping on just my sides, left and right, I felt that it was better for me to sleep on my left side. So I did sleep on my left side a lot more. Um, but that was also because um, acid reflux, like I saw this TikTok where it says that if you want to avoid acid reflux, you sleep on your left side but that was my more comfortable side anyways because at some point I started getting like really bad pelvic pain on my right side so it was just really hard to sleep on that side but my left was more comfortable for me and more natural and then food wise so this child did not like anything sweet sweets nope cakes no biscuits no fruit juices I love juice like juice I just love it <laughs> and yeah this baby just did not like juice at some point he was okay with like apple juice but any other sort of tropical like no the baby just was not having it even till this day but sometimes i just have to drink it because i can't just live on water i need something else but definitely fizzy drinks is an absolute no go i will literally throw up so anything sweet this baby doesn't like but he loves meat he used to really like crisps but he doesn't like crisps anymore um so yeah anything salty anything savory he's on it but sweet is just not a thing and then mood so it says that if you're more chilled out and quite mellow you're having a boy i've been super chilled out my whole pregnancy um i haven't really had much mood swings obviously mood swings is not when you're just being angry or you know shouting at people or anything like that mood swings is just you having a fluctuation um with your moods and whatever so mine were not too bad been pretty mellow um my mood is pretty much stayed the same so i've been really really good um i've had just a couple of moments which i can count on one hand to be fair where i've just been really down and then i'll just go back to my normal self but i've predominantly been really really happy and then morning sickness obviously i had morning sickness but compared to my girl mom counterparts i think they definitely had it worse i had it bad well i don't even know if i had it bad because i'm just counting my 
sickness from what I'm experiencing obviously I've never had morning sickness before so when I say it's bad it's because it is bad this is the first time that I'm experiencing it but maybe if I had another kid I could compare it to say okay this was bad and this wasn't and if I was having a girl whether it was different or not but um, I think compared to other people's examples like online and stuff like that I think yes I did have morning sickness but it wasn't like absolutely horrendous like some people just have it 10 times worse than i probably did so i agree with that and then partners weight gain so if i was a gained weight um i don't know because apparently when you're pregnant your partner also gets your symptoms so he was really tired at some point and then um he was eating a lot um so apparently if your partner gains weight and is eating a lot um you're having a boy so he was eating so much he gained a lot of weight um and it was like we were both pregnant um so yeah i 100 percent agree with that he did gain weight and then if your feet are always cold so i haven't come across that one a lot but i did come across it today so my feet anyways in general are always quite cold and they were pretty much quite cold um and are still pretty much quite cold during this pregnancy um so i think that one is quite true but um with regards to like boys and stuff these are the most frequent symptoms that i came across um with regards to me having a boy and stuff like that so i think a lot of them were quite true for me i didn't really um know what the baby's heart rate was because i know that's a big thing that people use the heart rate um what else oh if you're carrying low so my bump i don't think it's low um i think it's just like in the middle ish obviously as it gets bigger it does look a tiny bit low um so that shows that you're having a boy but i know my baby is sat down like he's quite low he himself so when i'm feeling him kick it's usually quite low and whenever i go for scans um they say your baby is quite low like he's always like really down there oh another thing that i just remembered that i did want to mention as to why i thought i was having a little baby boy was because he's so active personally this is not like a general thing this is just a personal thing but personally i think little boys are super active and from the 10 week scan they said wow your baby is active and you could see on the monitor like he was just doing the most 12 week scan he would not like stop moving like always moving always kicking just doing the most but at that time i couldn't feel him 16 week scan would he stay still like they're trying to find out the gender and everything like that this baby would not chill out 20 week scan obviously at that point he was a lot bigger but that 20 week scan the the nurse or the whatever i don't know what it is i don't know if it's a midwife or whoever takes the scan was just like this baby will not stay still she could not get a picture to save her life like it was crazy we had to literally stay there for longer like each appointment we'd have to stay there for longer because this baby would just not chill out like just doing the most moving around kicking and yeah just being super active which to be honest is a good thing because that just means that the baby is well healthy and everything and it gives me that reassurance but that's why i think wow that's why i thought it was a little baby boy because he's just so active like so 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 active um but yeah so those were the old wives tales um now i will just quickly jump in to the nub theory which is really really exciting i absolutely loved researching on the nub theory and sort of comparing it to what i had um so yeah i'll just show you guys so when it comes to the nub theory obviously it's not always a hundred percent because your baby could be in a position where it seems like they have um this type of genitals when they actually don't so um for us it was clear as day i'm not gonna lie like even though this baby was active and always moving the position that when they took the pictures that he was in you could tell that it's a little boy um so i didn't know anything about the nub theory until until about after 12 weeks i would say so i did uh have one of my friends there and then we just sat in her car and then um she basically just brought up um on google and then we started looking and i was like oh my gosh this child is a boy so she brought it to my attention so after that i started basically just looking into it so basically i'll show you my scans 
so my 12 week scan was quite obvious uh, that's a 12 week one but I think this one is better week scan and I'm gonna circle basically where the nub is so that you can understand what I'm talking about so that was basically my 12 week scan I'll also just show you the 20 you know this is the 16 week scan I actually can't find my 20 week scan I'm also gonna circle where the nub is so that you can see so basically if you're having a little baby girl her nub will literally be that way and also her spine is different from what a boy's spine would be so i'm basically gonna put two pictures here in comparison so you can see what i'm talking about and with a boy's nub it goes up that way so um i can't remember the exact te um technicalities but if you're if you're having a boy i think um from spine to nub if it's more than 30 degrees then it's a boy or the other way around if it's less but i think it's if it's more than 30 degrees then it's a boy but basically in our scan pictures you can clearly see that the nub is up so um compared to a lot of boy nubs that i saw on google i was matched perfectly to a little boy there was no form of nub going that way or anything like that so it was pretty obvious that it was a boy um very very obvious obviously sometimes there are chances that you know a nub can appear to look a certain way but not be that so obviously um if you are looking at your scan pictures don't be like 100% certain um, that it's one gender when it's the other just wait for the um, your scan to tell you but for me I was 100% sold like there was no way the pictures just showed what they showed and to me I just knew that I was having a little baby boy that was also coupled with obviously Tafazo's family being just boys and also the old wives tales just made it really obvious for me personally and I just really felt it in my body I think when it's you carrying the baby you know so um, from early I referred to him as he because I really felt that it was a he and um, yeah I just knew it in my bones that it was a he but the nub theory really 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 confirmed it for me if I went to the scan and they told me I was having a baby girl I'd be like no there's no chance like I'm not having a girl I can see it and I feel it in my body that I'm having a little baby boy but um yeah all those things really made me think that I was gonna have a baby boy and guess what I had a baby boy I literally told everyone that it's a boy I just knew it was gonna be a boy <laughs> and here I am um a boy mum so those are the things that really really made me think that I was gonna have a boy um so yeah when you actually get your scan pictures have a little look you might know early on obviously if your images are not clear then that may not be the case but I think it's quite obvious I did play a few guessing games to other people's videos and stuff and I guess pretty much all of them right um but they do say that it's not always going to be a hundred percent correct but yeah it is just a fun way of trying to find out especially if you're impatient like me like I was so impatient I just wanted to know what the baby was like honestly and I think the nub theory really helped me to just I don't know feel a sense of like knowing without actually knowing if you know what I mean so that allowed me to be able to actually wait to find out the gender of the baby because otherwise I think I'd have just lost my mind like trying to play guessing games or whatever so that gave me a bit of fun and a bit of I don't know just excitement just something to do I guess I'll be waiting to find out what the baby was but yeah obviously if you don't want to know then you don't want to know but those are the ways that I 100% knew in my whole body and soul that I was having a little baby boy uh, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, something quite light-hearted um, and I'll basically see you guys in my next one bye